David Craig on the sidelines, and they give Kelly Stauffer his first start in three years. Looked good on this pass, but Travis McNeil did not. Stauffer's second pass in his first start in three years. Uh, no, it goes to Deion Sanders. And look at the spin, and he dumps it up to Tim Akire. Remember that move. Sanders to Akire, and Atlanta is in business. And Deion says, we know we're heading toward something big, like postseason football. We hope to, if we can win. Off the front by Scott Fullage. Watch the special teams of the Falcons again. Albert Shelley. And they have been doing that all year, Chris. The Falcons are fired up, and here's a direct example of how special teams can help you. Watch this. Kelly Stopper in the end zone. Nailed and nailed. First, Brian Jordan, and then it's Rick Bryan with the hit and some safety. Yeah, Jordan flips under center. Grant Fiesel chases down Stopher, and Rick Bryan really cleans up here at the end of this play. Helmet right to the chest. So Stopher leaves with a sprain right knee. His next start will be three years from now. Seahawks special teams didn't fare much better. Watch Doink off the head of James Jones from the punt of Rick Rootin Tootin. So Chuck Knox says, you know, it wasn't supposed to be this way this year for Seattle. And it wasn't supposed to be this way either. Norm Johnson was cut. Well, guess what? Norm just made his 15th straight field goal for the Falcons. 5-0 Atlanta late in the second quarter. Seahawks defense school in the red gun, though. Seattle's had a good defense all year. Here's the big reason why. Cortez Kennedy making the move on Bill Fralick. Yeah, Cortez Kennedy had an outstanding game here. Bill Fralick so worried about him trying to get into position. Poor snap, fumble. And then watch Cortez Kennedy just, just come from behind and nail Mike Rozier in the backfield for no gain. But one man does not a defense make, as the Falcons would wave the flag. Miller to Mike Pritchard, one of their top draft picks for a first down. Then on third and four, Chris Miller, who has cut out the INTs, has played some good, solid football, scrambles for a first down. Believe it or not, he averages more per run than any quarterback in football. Miller drops back for George Thomas. It's an English muffin for six points and a touchdown. The Falcons lead it 12-0. Then Dave Craig, second half, going deep for Brian Blade. Watch this. Tim McKire, the quick lateral to Dion, and then it's prime time, prime time, prime time, prime time, prime time. 48 yards for a touchdown, and the Falcons lead it 19 to nothing. A prime time effort. And Dave Craig goes to Tommy Kane, and watch Dion climb it for the interception. Tomahawk chop for Dion, but the new, the Falcon flat. It's always something in that stadium. And the Falcons win it 26 to 13. Congratulations to Atlanta. They've clinched their first playoff berth since 1982. And since the Braves showed up in the World Series, the Falcons have been seven and one. And it's a magical place. The last regular season game at Atlanta Fulton County Stadium for the Falcons. The Falcons though could host a playoff game in a couple of ways. One of which is if they win the division, which they would if the Saints lose tomorrow night against the, uh, the Raiders. That's on Monday Night Football. But the Falcons are in. And, Tommy, what impresses us about Atlanta is now on five in a row is they keep the pressure on you with a variety of ways. They keep it on with those skilled players. You look defensively now, Timmy McKire, Deion Sanders, two of the best cover corners in football. Offensively, awfully good special teams players uh, uh, um, in all areas. And then an offensive line that does a good job, especially in the pass blocking area. See, a lot of people aren't sure the Falcons are for real, but when you keep pressure with that sort of thing and you play with that sort of confidence every week, good things happen. And the Falcons are in the playoff for the first time since Lehman Bennett coaching with Barkowski at quarterback in 1982. We've got plenty more to show you, but one thing we can tell you about is that in the first seven games this year, the deadly receiving duel, which wasn't that big today for the Falcons of Michael Haynes and Andre Risen, first seven games, look what they've done the last eight games in which the Falcons have gone seven and one. 73 catches for 1,250 yards and 16 TDs. No wonder the Falcons are flying. Well,